Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and Pisces Rising weekly tarot reading for July 30th to August 5th, 2018. <clears throat> so, four cards spread for Pisces, the first card representing the topic of their week, we do have the Two of Cups, with the next card which points to the core of the situation, this is going to be the Queen of uh, Cups. Afterwards we do have the Six of Wands sitting up as a, a challenge, and the last one, this is going to be uh, the strength card as a, a guidance. Very, very peculiar reading. Now, this is a, a very broad reading, as a matter of fact. Now, the Two of Cups, let's, uh, let's start it simple. Two of Cups, topic of the week. First of all, that card uh, generally points that you are going to, especially person in personal life, you are going to meet someone new. Now, this doesn't have to do anything with romantic relationship, all right? It's just this card points as a general topic, points that you will feel very... Um, um, comfortable around that person, uh, comfortable to extent of that you will start sharing things with them, sharing in a sense of sharing um, previous experience, right, of your previous events. And this card also points that you are going to find very pleasant to work into your career. So in general, the Two of Cups points that this week is going to be rather favorable from a, a point of uh, being, uh, feeling in your own waters, all right? either relationship-wise or career-wise. And when we talk about relationship, obviously this card points to growing love, all right? So then we do have the Queen of Cups into a core situation. Now, this is a, a definitely a person, a supportive of yours. Queen of Cups, it is very patient. She can keep secrets and she has that acute sense into human nature so, so she knows your pain. That could be as well he, all right? Uh, I'm saying she because it's a queen, all right? And uh, as I said, she knows your pain and she knows how to diminish that pain. Very important. So that week, uh, the main reason why you are going to feel comfortable with it is because uh, this person, that queen of cups, either a male or a female, uh, is going to take away some of your poignant experience from the past, some of your despondency in whatever uh, field you are uh, facing it too, okay? Because you, um, you could feel very miserable into your career and this person is going to somehow take away that misery out of you, uh, you know, like... Um, <clears throat> will suck the negative energy from you and is going to recharge you with a positive uh, outlook and with enthusiasm to keep on fighting for your prosperity and same going and same goes for your relationship and in case this is a, a sweeter of yours then it seems that you have found a, a very loyal and faithful sweeter on your behalf and in case you do decide to make relationship with them that relationship could go for a, a very very long run but something tells me that you are going to be very reluctant of making relationship in case this is a sweeter because we do have the six of wands which sits into a challenging position pointing a couple of things first of all it points that it will be very tough for you to accept the rewards of your labor mainly because you may think that you don't deserve them right or mainly because you may think that you will not be able to sustain them and that will make you reluctant of taking on that relationship thinking of it that is not gonna go for a long run although is going to and a second of all this card points that it will be very tough for you to reach a certain milestone a checkpoint a finalization of a cycle being victorious and this is due to the, um, <clears throat> due to the lack of activity and what is important here to be know is that this isn't your fault the lack of activity Simply, that card points that you will uh, you will be depraved from opportunities to uh, kind of you know to end up victorious, uh, and you will not be depraved from the right to be victorious. This is very important here, guys. It is just the state of being victorious is prolonged into the next weeks. All right, it's just it's not going to be that week, but maybe in the next week that could be expressed. For example, maybe you are expecting to be promoted and you are waiting for the notice, but turns out that your boss is kind of falling ill. All right, and uh, they cannot give you the notice of being promoted, or you may expect a raise in your salary. Something happens and. Um, <clears throat> 
even the race will come next month or uh, let's say you are expecting to go out on a date with your suitor something happens uh, for example your suitor again falls ill and the date is postponed into the next week so this kind of a depraving of a success is what I'm talking about I'm not talking about of a failure here but prolonged success or um, kind of like delayed success and that could create a, a feeling of discouragement. <clears throat> and then we do have the strength card, which is the guidance. And this is obvious now, despite of what kind of predicaments you experience here caused by the Six of Wands, you know, and not being capable to experience, uh, to experience that peak of circumstances, pleasant circumstances, that should not discourage you to move on forward. As a matter of fact, this card points that you should not try to convince yourself other way around that it isn't worth it, all right? Because many people in that particular uh, state may try to convince themselves, you know what, it just isn't worth it, Let, let's try to focus on someone else on, or something else. But you have walked quite of a, a long way here and you have finally found something which truly worth it, either that is a, a person, you know, that um, understands you, a person who is ready to share your pain and to share their happiness with you, or that could be as well a, a plan that is finally taking place in a sense of, or in a sense of that plan that start makes sense and it's executable and just the final predicaments here is what takes place and these are not predicaments but more like delays and you have to stop making excuses to redirect your uh, energy and your efforts but just be a little bit more patient because the strength as a guidance says the patience is a virtue you will persevere and you will endure through the patience and nothing else oh and through the um capability to stop explaining yourself constantly for what you're doing. You need to know that you're doing it because it makes you happy and period. So that being said, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 30th to August 5th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.